In the Gulf of Thailand, a once sleepy resort town has been transformed by Chinese investment. But the casinos of Sihanoukville, a hub for Chinese gamblers, have also become a focus for organised crime groups. They've switched from gambling to scamming. People from China and Hong Kong to Vietnam and Thailand have been sucked into what a UN official calls a living hell. Buildings that look like nondescript apartments like these are actually ground zero for scamming operations. A victim by the name of Lu was attracted to work in Cambodia by promises of high salaries in construction work. But he ended up in a compound with hundreds of other workers unable to leave. <laughs> Lu and others would seek targets online and groom them to invest in cryptocurrency platforms. They did this by setting up fake online profiles on TikTok, Instagram and WhatsApp. Where scammers once approached their victims over the phone, more and more the trend is to use social network apps under the cover of cryptocurrency investment and targeting middle and high income earners. Annie, a young professional in Hong Kong, said she was subject to a love scam. She met a good looking Chinese engineer on the dating app Bumble. He called her almost daily, but they never met in person. She was then tricked into trading cryptocurrency on a fake platform. <laughs> There are fears that cracking down on scammers in one area may push the group simply to relocate to another country. We're going to need Cambodia to take action with Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, the Philippines. Basically, the ASEAN region needs to come to terms with the fact that this, the conditions that criminals are looking for are basically scattered across certain parts of this region, very, very favorable to them. So let's put on the table what types of illicit activities, criminal activities are taking place there, how we, can we address those criminal activities holistically, strategically. If not, we're going to have them bounce around the region and just go from place to place. Deprived of money and passports, trafficked workers have found it difficult to escape. Cambodian police carried out a string of high-profile raids on scam compounds in the summer. But observers fear those responsible may simply relocate and hunt for more victims.